morning guys in this video we are going to see how to do a site plan properly first we are going to see how to do a beginner's version of the site plan then we are going to make it harder and like the variation that we are mostly aware of so before we get into a site plan it is very important to have control of the musculature of your obliques right so again do this get into the position where your knees are slightly in front of you all you need to do firstly is breathe in and out couple of times so breathe in allow your rib cage to expand on this side feel a stretch going through your abs and breathe out breathe in again allow your stomach to distend a little bit that is what the stomach is for to distend so allow it to distend breathe in allow everything to stretch here and as you exhale breathe out try to connect with these muscles over here and try to pull your rib in using these muscles like this and breathe out breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out If you are someone who works excessively on a computer or has a job that requires you to be in this position quite a bit like where your shoulders are rounded and everything these muscles are going to be tight you may feel them contract very strongly when you do a side plank or you may not feel them at all so in both cases doing this breathing exercise is going to help you a lot a lot it is going to stretch out all those muscles it is going to stretch out the ribs and it is going to help you be more upright be more open so do this a couple of, like about 10 15 times if you're not getting a hang of it before you start doing your side planks make sure you get a good grip of breathing in this manner breathe in breathe into the bottom of the ribs stretching out your ribs your abs uh, your obliques and breathe out as you are exhaling pull everything in breathe in breathe out Once you have mastered this breathing all you need to do is like inhale exhale pull your abs in and lift your body up on your knees and on your elbow make sure your shoulder is not sticking out like that pull your shoulder back and down breathe out keep your obliques engaged so that your gut is not falling down breathe in breathe out you may feel a deep contraction going in your pelvis that is fine if it is too much relax for a bit and then breathe out once that has subsided breathe out lift up hold for the specific duration and then down so this is the beginner variation and on how to do the plank for the more advanced population is you can extend your legs down once you are comfortable in that also you can lift one leg up once you are comfortable in that you can have your body propped up on your extended arm so you can progress your side plank in uh, many ways so let's see a couple of advanced variations So this is the regular full plank that most of us are used to seeing. Again, shoulder not pop popping out like that. Pull it back and down into your back. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift your body up. Make sure your hip is not falling down. Keep your hip up like that. This is the regular plank. make it harder lift your leg up 
don't ask me to do the one where we extend the hand and do this it's not going to happen so uh, this is how you can do your side plan thanks for watching